So let's contrast um, actual amnesia, what people actually experience when they lose hippocampal function, uh, to the portrayal of amnesia in Hollywood. And so let's talk about just uh, three different varieties, uh, three different portrayals of amnesia. The most common is what we call Hollywood amnesia. And this is present in, um, for those of you that have are, are older like me, Spellbound, which is a Hitchcock movie where uh, I think it's Gregory Peck plays an individual who has no memories of his life before a traumatic event, but he's very able to make all new memories as he goes about his life. Uh, this is a similar portrayal of amnesia is portrayed in uh, the Born Identity, Born Supremacy, that series of, of, of movies. So Hollywood amnesia in this version is that all the past memories are gone and the ability to make new memories is all intact, which is exactly the opposite from the reality. So that's, um, Hollywood does not have it right. I mean, don't get me wrong. These are entertaining movies, but uh, they have no basis in, in neurobiological reality. Um, another Hollywood version of amnesia is present in 51st States. In 51st States, I believe it's Drew Barrymore, was in an accident and she lost her memory. And she doesn't remember anything, and, and that's portrayed pretty well. She can't form new memories. But at the end of the movie, what is portrayed is that when she wakes up, she watches a little movie about herself, and then she's able to retain that information for a, a whole day until she goes to sleep. Uh, really not so much. I mean, not so realistic. But an again, an entertaining movie. Now, in that movie, when they go back to uh, the hospital where she initially recovered, there's an individual named Tom who they say, Hi, uh, my name is so-and-so. He says, Hi, my name is Tom. And by the time he turns away and comes back, he says, Hi, my name is Tom. He has absolutely no ability to turn working memory into hippocampal memory. So there's an example of that in real life. So Tom is actually closest to a realistic portrayal of an individual with uh, amnesia. And there's a very uh, moving uh, um, case of an individual named Clive Waring. And he was a musician and um, uh, in England, and he had encephalitis. And after he recovered from the acute illness, he uh, he kind of woke up and he was able to do things, um, but he had no ability to form any uh, memories. He, he could not get out of working memory, so he couldn't stitch together two moments in time. And I just want to read you just a, a piece. This, this is beautifully described in a book by his wife, Deborah Waring, called Forever Today. And I highly recommend the book for those of you interested. So Clive Waring asks his wife, Deborah Waring, how long have I been ill? She says, nine weeks. He says, nine weeks? I haven't heard anything, seen anything, touched anything, smelled anything. It's like being dead. What's it like being dead? Answer, nobody knows. How long has it been? Nine weeks. Nine weeks? I haven't heard anything, seen anything, touched anything, smelled anything. What's it like being dead? It's like one long night lasting how long? Nine weeks. Nine weeks? One long night lasting how long? Nine weeks. Nine weeks? I haven't heard anything, seen anything, touched anything smelled anything. It's just like being dead. What's it like being dead? Answer, nobody knows. How long has it been? I haven't heard anything. And so on. He also makes journal entries and those journal entries say, I just woke up. And then he'll scratch that out and he'll say, I just woke up. So he really has no ability to turn any moment 
into a more permanent uh, um, moment of memory. And this case is so devastating because he's completely lost his ability to be himself. The loss of that, uh, it, that profound amnesia is, um, is beyond um, what, what is easy to comprehend. I highly recommend that you go, uh, that first of all, you read the book, but also view these um, videos on YouTube. You can see him. You can see his frustration. You can see his agony because without the memory, even, I mean, it's, it's almost as though his working memory has also been shrunk. So he can't even last the 30 seconds. He can really only last a few seconds. And that has completely changed and altered his life as well as the, the, the lives of those around him. So with that, we will leave the, um, immensely interesting, uh, topic of memory. There are lots more, uh, things to, to learn about it and to talk about. Um, and I encourage you to read a variety of accounts of amnesic uh, patients, um, some of those that I've, that I've recommended and, and others as well. Mm -hmm.